Let's hear more about the campus here at DelVal. Sarah is graduating this spring with a degree in counseling psychology, and she's gonna take us through this absolutely beautiful campus here at DelVal. Sarah, please take it away. Thank you, Alex. Hey, everybody. I am so excited to show you around our campus here at Delaware Valley University. With our small class sizes of a 13 to 1 student to professor ratio, you would never know that our campus sits on over 550 acres of the most picturesque land. If you include our two additional campuses that act as a living laboratory for students here on campus, we actually have over a thousand acres of land to our name. Before touring this campus, I visited many different universities. This one was by far my favorite. I think that there's something to be said about having the small campus size, knowing the people that you walk by on the walkways rather than just being another number. My favorite spot here at Del Val is Lake Archer. I love to come down here and hang out with friends, listen to music, uh, or even just sit with my thoughts. Uh, I actually have a ton of pictures with that beautiful tree over there. It is the most beautiful scene in the springtime. There's a gazebo at the lake that is extremely peaceful and has the most wonderful view. Lake Archer is actually a part of our 40-acre arboretum on campus and houses a live laboratory of plants for our students to study. Our campus arboretum is a part of the Greater Philadelphia Gardens and the American Public Gardens Association. There are a ton of different buildings on campus that range from academics to barns. My favorite building on campus is the Life Science Building, which is actually our newest building on campus. It has tons of windows which make it bright and cheery for those 8 a.m. classes. As a women's soccer player here at DelVal, nothing beats the sun setting over my own practices or while I'm working the men's lacrosse practices. Right above our turf field, we have the SEPTA Regional Railroad Stop. This stop can take you to Baltimore, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, or even New York City. And although I'm not around the farms as much as I would like to be, I still like to walk down there and admire the beautiful animals. A funny story that I like to tell potential students here on campus is about Sparky the Squirrel. A few years ago, a squirrel chewed through the power lines on campus and actually got electrocuted, taking out the power right before a big basketball game here on campus. The class of 2018 got a memorial made for him that says, the squirrel that searched for light even through the darkest of times. This story went viral on Facebook and it went viral on Reddit, and you can find Sparky's memorial right outside of our writing center on campus. At this campus, you can find anything from sports to a train station to live animals. I bet that you haven't been to a campus that can say the same. Back to you, Alex. Poor Sparky. Thanks, Sarah. This campus is gorgeous. I love how this campus is surrounded by so much nature, yet so close to some big cities. Thanks again, Sarah.